Professor Dave and Chegg here. If we are going to learn about lipids, we will want to go over some of the most prominent lipid subcategories, such as waxes, fats, and oils. Let's examine some examples of these types of molecules so we can talk about their most important properties. Waxes are mixtures of esters, which form from the combination of long-chain carboxylic acids and long-chain alcohols. Recalling the process of esterification, whereby a carboxylic acid and an alcohol can produce an ester, this is precisely what we are talking about here, except that both the carboxylic acid and alcohol involved have very long carbon chains, so when they combine, they produce an ester with an even longer carbon chain. The carboxylic acid usually has an even number of carbons between 16 and 36, while the alcohol has an even number of carbons from 24 to 36. We can see compounds like this in beeswax and acting as a protective coating on fruits, berries, and leaves. Now let's move on to fats and vegetable oils. These are the most widely occurring lipids. Structurally speaking, they are triglycerides, or triacyl glycerols, abbreviated as TAGs. This means that they are derivatives of glycerol, which is a three-carbon triol, where each hydroxyl has performed esterification on a long-chain carboxylic acid called a fatty acid. So we end up with something like this, with three ester groups in one molecule, one for each of the hydroxyls in glycerol. If going in reverse, this triacyl glycerol can undergo hydrolysis to yield glycerol and three fatty acids. The carbon chains on the fatty acids are generally unbranched, so they are straight chains, and they can vary both in length and in terms of degree of saturation. They typically contain an even number of carbons between 12 and 20. Also, there can be one or more pi bonds on these chains, or they can be fully saturated. For any double bonds present, they typically exhibit cis, or Z, geometry. And finally, the three fatty acid chains are typically different from one another. More than 100 fatty acids are known. Some common ones are palmitic acid and steric acid, which are fully saturated, contain 16 and 18 carbons respectively. Some common unsaturated fatty acids are oleic acid and linoleic acid. The first is monounsaturated, with only one double bond, whereas linoleic is polyunsaturated because it has two double bonds. Unsaturated fatty acids have lower melting points because of the Z configuration of the double bonds. This causes kinks in the chains that makes it harder for these molecules to pack neatly into a lattice, so it's easier to melt them. The more double bonds present, the lower the melting point. The pi bonds are easily reduced by catalytic hydrogenation to yield saturated fatty acids, which is how we produce margarine. This process is accompanied by cis-trans isomerization of some double bonds that don't get hydrogenated, generating trans-unsaturated fatty acids, or the so-called trans fats. These can increase the cholesterol levels in the blood, resulting in unwanted health effects that can increase the risk of heart problems. And that covers some basics regarding waxes, fats, and oils. We should now better understand their hydrophobic structures and some of their properties. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.